Yes. Greg, I just imagined you would be full of energy. <laughs> Something told me that. Thanks, um, Jimmy. Thanks, Jimmy. <laughs> Wait a minute. They said Jimmy Fallon would... No, no, oh, I'm, not Jimmy. I'm, no, no, I'm, no, I'm, no, I'm not Chris. Here. This is Portland. Oh, yeah, but oh, oh you know Chris! What? Oh, yes, yes, hey, Chris! Yes, yes. It's you, man. It's you. It's you. Oh, oh Greg, when I first heard about you, yeah. I'm like, are we talking about a mythical creature? No, 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 I'm a living, breathing, living, yeah. breathing yeah. person. No. What stands out most, <laughs> my good friend Josh told me <laughs> that you ran Hood to Coast. Hood to Coast is a relay, everybody, and I think they have eleven people 12. on each, twelve yeah. people on yeah. each team. Yeah, you decided you didn't need a team. Well, it's a solo sport. I'm kind of a loner, <laughs> so uh, uh, yeah, I did. I did do that alone. Yeah, that was a couple of years ago. Cool adventure. Yeah, yeah. And that's not it. Uh, it's pretty dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and there's other things on your list. Uh, we're we're talking about running through the desert, ultra marathons, up to like 300 miles. Some. Chris, some people have really stupid hobbies. Yeah. <laughs> and I think you can kind of judge that by if, you, if you're really having a good time when you're curled up in a ball yeah. on a trail somewhere <laughs> and your pee is the color of oatmeal stout, you probably, oh. you probably have a pretty bad hobby. You know? yeah. Yeah, right? Let's talk about it. Why do you yeah. do it? Is it hedonistic? What, do you, like, what, is, what, is this, what does running mean to you? You know, it's a great question. Um, I've been involved in endurance sports for almost 35 years, and mm -hmm. uh, it's been a, an integral part of my life. Yeah. Um, I've made it my profession. My career has been built around endurance sports as well. Yeah. Um, you know, the why question is the, the big question, yeah. of course. You know, why do people run great distances or cycle great distances or swim great distances or any, anything? sailing, you know, climbing, you know, the why question is, it's tough to answer. I think for me, it started as, you know, how can I push the limits of, of performance for myself? Right. You know, how, can, what's the next thing? What's the next thing? What's the next thing? There's that tendency. Yeah. Um, and then I found out that really it was more about the payoff for me was far greater than the inputs that I would put into it. In other mm -hmm. words, when I would get into these extreme events, wherever they might be, however long they might be, or you know, whatever the gory details are, yeah. I found that the payoffs were just really amazing. And, yeah. and so I just keep coming back for more. It's like kind of like going to an ATM machine, you put your card in, right. and all of a sudden start spit, spitting out 20s, and you're kind of looking around like, hey, uh, I'm, I'm good, I'm good, I just came for 20, but you know, right. like 400. You keep yeah, so. It's this eternal ATM machine that just keeps spitting out goodness, and it's really an amazing payout. ATM machine spitting out goodness. Cheers yeah. to that. <laughs> um, so I imagine there's... An You're awesome, Conan! <laughs> Conan, I love you! He's great, man. He's great. This is great. Ah. Uh, <laughs> so, I'm so tired today, too. Are you tired? I'm, I was at a protest. Oh, okay. Tell yeah, me about you heard it. about the protests yesterday. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. The things in Portland. You know, pro Portland is protest town, and today there was this uh, knitting protest okay. downtown. And I'm not into knitting, but I was just supporting a friend. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah. Were, like, yeah. I don't know. You want to be about, there for them. It's uh, you do. You want to like, you know, lift up. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm a people yeah. person. Knit helping. Up. Yeah. Knit up. Yeah. And they were like protesting like. Minimum wage for those people that make the skeins or skeins or whatever, you know? I like, don't know, I don't know. Yeah, and then there was this counter protest. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I don't know. They were like people that hate sweaters. And, yeah. You know. Yeah. So I was just, I'm really tired. Well, I'm it's, really tired. <laughs> it's summertime, right? Yeah. It's yeah. not sweater weather. Right. Things right. are changing. For some people. Uh, you <laughs> host an event uh, all throughout summer. Yes, I in, do. In Northwest Portland. I do. Can we talk about that? Sure. First Thursday, Urban Adventure Run. Um, that's actually hosted by Fleet Feet Sports. It's a local uh, running endurance sports store with three locations, and, and I, I work with them and, and do this, uh, yeah, first Thursday urban adventure run. Hundreds of people come out, and they go to different checkpoints, and, and they allow me to make fun of people in the audience yeah. and call people <laughs> names. And, yeah, you know, like, you, sir, are also dumb, you know, and I'm a runner and you're also dumb. I know, but, you know, it's really fun and 
they get prizes and it's really cool really a fun time yeah yeah, yeah. um so i love portland because it's a city of extreme hobbyists and it is you, extreme hobbyists and yes. you have a multitude knitters ultra knitters. runners all that yeah yeah <laughs> um also portland jerseys Yes, yeah, so this is a little apparel company that uh, I started with a, a, a business partner of mine, and uh, we make custom jerseys, uh, really cool, uh, oh, you know, different one. different jerseys that we sell to events, you know, that want a custom jersey, and then we sell we sell individual ones to to consumers. So mm -hmm. we brought you a couple here to a couple to show you. Here's one yes. from the the event called Portland Aww. Century. It's kind of modeled after the. Uh, you know, you guys might recognize those nice. colors. There you what? go, right there. Not blazers. I colors. don't know. I don't know. Something like that. Do you and have this in extra medium? We have it. We have it in ultra medium. Nice. Ultra medium. Nice. Nice. Here's one called our Gorge jersey that we uh, did as a fundraiser for the Columbia River Gorge. It's oh. uh, you know full colors there. And then so cool. uh, some others. Uh, here's one that we did for the ladies. Yeah. You know, called. Uh, Rosie the Riveter, right? We are doing it, right? So there's that one. That's your so. size. Also. I'll rock that. For here's sure. one of our really... Chris, this is one I, I brought just for you. We call this... Like you're like the carrot top of Jersey. Yeah. Yeah. We call this the Laser Kitty. Right yeah. there. Laser Kitty. Yeah. Saving the universe one jersey at a time. Right you know there. what this yeah. reminds me of is my cameraman Ian, uh, who's right here kneeled in front of us. This is totally his style. Well, yeah, I can tell. I can tell. His whole visage says Laser Kitty, basically. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's at first glance. Right, right, right. I walked in the door. And by the way, the green room, a lot of your guests don't know this and your audience don't know yeah. this, especially you guys up there in the balcony. Good to see you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, Shout out to you guys. The, the green room in back, yeah. I actually, like, it's a more of a broom closet. Yeah, yeah. I Comfy. tripped on a mop bucket back there. I went down. <laughs> I'm, 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 my attorney could call. You signed okay. a release yeah. for Did yeah. I sign a release we, we, for did, did I do that? You did. Yeah. You did. Yeah. 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 And we've got you on film. I'm, 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 no. <laughs> Greg. Hey, thanks so man. much for coming on. Thanks You're such a ball Chris. of energy. Thanks, I love man. it. Thanks, everybody, Greg Fressler, everybody. Yeah. Yeah.